Capital City in high definition. This is WBRZ News 2 Louisiana. The health care debate brings out heavy hitters in politics, including a group that helped derail a presidential campaign. Good evening, Baton Rouge gets another side of the debate as a bus tour packed by conservatives pulled in tonight. But as News 2's Christy Davis found out, the source of the message does not seem to bother the people who want to hear it. Last week, a bus tour backed by liberals came through. This week, the conservatives and the crowds are showing up because they know what they want when it comes to health care debate and they know where to get it. The bus tour known as Hands Off Our Health Care, provided by Americans for Prosperity, rolled into Baton Rouge. I think the tour has been a big success. We're having the opportunity to talk to citizens, to get our message out to folks. Much like the Highway to Health Care tour that stopped by Southern University last week. Two buses, two very different messages. And if we don't do something about uh, the broken health care system right now, we are going to look at the middle class, uh, continue to be uh, shut out of, the, shut out of uh, getting health care. And very different backing. While Highway to Health Care is backed by a liberal public health care group, Hands is managed by the same PR firm that ran the Swift Boat campaign against John Kerry in 2004. I know John Kerry is lying about his first Purple Heart. Americans for Prosperity didn't back down from the conservative leaning. Instead, Texas Director Peggy Venable believes they're helping to move the country in the same direction. I believe that it has, as we say, awoken the sleeping giant, the silent majority that I believe are really citizens who believe in our freedom. It's that political leaning that brought out most of the folks we talked to. We're very supportive of what Americans for Prosperity are doing. They're, uh, they are a conservative organization. But it's also apparent that the Democrats hold the majority in the Congress and the Senate and can put through what they want. And it's the reason some don't want to hear what the other side has to say. Certainly open and receptive, but we have, you have to assume you already know what they're going to Now, here's the deal. You keep paying attention to what they say. Now, the hands-off bus has one more stop before heading to Texas. Tomorrow, it will park in New Orleans. Christy Davis, WBRZ, Balance News. Thanks, Christy. Congressman Bill Cassidy hosts a town hall meeting on health care tomorrow in St. Francisville, while U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu will be in reserve.